What's up everybody? Uh, today we're gonna be cooking up some ground beef. Uh, ground beef isn't just for grilling burgers. As you'll see, if you've ever wanted to do a carnivore or carnivore-ish, mostly meat-based diet, um, ground beef is your best friend because you know eating steaks every day can get really expensive. Uh, ground beef, on the other hand, is relatively affordable and it's also really easy to cook with and doesn't require a grill. And so here are four different ground beef recipes. I'm gonna start off with what I'm gonna call my regular, what I eat almost every day, what I add to it, both to make my ground beef more delicious and also more uh, nose to tail aligned. Uh, because if you're doing this kind of diet, it's important that you try to eat nose to tail, which means you don't just eat the steaks, but you eat the whole animal, the organs, the skin, the connective tissue. And so one of the things I try to add a few times a week is a little bit of liver. I try to get in about four to six ounces of liver a week. And the best way I found to do this is just to sneak it in like an ounce at a time. Um, and so I just keep a frozen liver in my freezer. When I'm going to prepare my ground beef, I just break off the chunk I'm going to use, usually one to two ounces. And then I just cut that up as small as I can, like I mince it while it's still frozen. Uh, when it's still frozen, it's really easy to work with. And so I just cut it up as small as I can. And then I set that aside. By the time it's time to add it in, it will be fully thawed. Um, I've tried other ways to do this, uh, using like a food processor where I uh, mix the ground beef and the liver in a food processor and it kind of turned the whole thing into like a weird meat slurry uh, and then it's kind of gross having to clean the food processor. Uh, this is the easiest way I found to do it. And so once I've got my liver ready to go, I'm going to heat up a cast iron pan on medium heat. I'm going to add a pound of ground beef. Uh, this is 85% ground beef. A lot of times I go leaner if I can get it. Um, but either way, I don't find that I need to add any additional like oil or fat to the pan. The ground beef has enough uh, fat or water where it kind of steams that you don't really need to add any oil. But I just flatten out my ground beef with a wooden spoon just to increase the surface area so it'll cook faster. I let it brown. I kind of toss it around a few times so it cooks evenly. And then I wait to the point where it gets about 80 to 90% cooked. And then that's when I'm gonna add in my frozen liver. Uh, the liver doesn't really need to cook that long, so that's why I wait to throw it in. I'm just gonna mix that around. Then I'm just going to season this with some salt. The next thing I'm gonna do is add a couple of eggs. This just increases the nutrient density of my ground beef. It also just kind of helps everything bind together. I'm just gonna let them sit there and they're gonna kind of steam uh, sitting on top of the ground beef. And then once they are close to being cooked, I'm just gonna mix them around. I don't wanna overcook my egg, so right after I scramble it up a little bit, I'm gonna remove my pan from the heat. And then I'm just gonna move my ground beef from the pan into a bowl. The next thing I'm gonna add is some collagen peptides, just a scoop. Uh, this sort of makes my ground beef, again, more nose to tail aligned, basically replicating what I would get if I was eating like the skin of the animal. And because this is still piping hot and there's some moisture, if I stir it up, it's just going to dissolve right into my mixture. And then totally optional, but this is what I do. I season mine with a little bit of everything but the bagel seasoning. And then I'm going to top it with some of the Primal Kitchen unsweetened ketchup. This is totally unsweetened, very clean ingredients, and it's gonna add some nice flavor, so I'm not gonna taste any of that liver that's in there. And there you go, I've got this delicious, nutrient-dense meal, arguably more nutritious than a steak. And yes, I could literally eat this every day, but I do like to switch it up. Um, so I'm gonna show you some variations on the same basic formula that I do. Uh, one of the variations is sort of an Asian-inspired, teriyaki ground beef. I'm gonna cook up my ground beef the same way as the first one. I'm gonna add my liver like I did before. I'm gonna cook it until it's browned, season it with a little bit of salt, and I'm also gonna season this with some kelp flakes, which adds some nice umami flavor and also serves as a natural source of iodine. I'm gonna add some of the Primal Kitchen no soy teriyaki. I'm just going to add that to my pan and I'm just going to cook that until some of the water cooks off, uh, reduce it a little bit, and then I'm going to transfer that to a bowl. I'm going to add my collagen peptides like I did before. The collagen peptides will actually 
uh, absorb any excess liquid and sort of thicken that teriyaki sauce, which I like. And so I mix that in there. And then again, totally optional, I'm going to season this with some of the everything but the bagel seasoning. Uh, sometimes I use uh, just like toasted sesame seeds for this Asian uh, inspired one, but there's already sesame seeds inside my everything but the bagel, so I'm just gonna use this again. And voila, that's my Asian inspired one. Um, sometimes I'll just eat this on its own. Uh, other times I will serve this on top of some white rice if I want a little extra carbohydrate. And so that's the Asian inspired ground beef. The next variation is buffalo ground beef. Uh, the Primal Kitchen Buffalo Sauce is probably my favorite product right now and there's no reason that you only have to use it for chicken wings. It goes great with ground beef. And so for this one, you're just gonna cook up your ground beef as before, just brown it in the pan, season it with some salt, transfer that ground beef over to a bowl. I'm gonna mix in my collagen peptides as I did before and then just top it with the buffalo sauce, mix it all around. And there you go, a quick and easy delicious meal with just a bit of heat. And then the final recipe is a barbecue bacon cheeseburger ground beef. And for this one, I'm just gonna cook up my ground beef and liver as before. This time I'm going to add the collagen peptides a little bit earlier in the process, uh, mix that around season it with salt. And this time I'm gonna add about a half cup of cheddar cheese and a half cup of cooked diced bacon. Mix that around a bit. I don't want to overcook the cheese inside the pan and so I'm gonna quickly transfer that to a bowl. And then I'm going to top this with the Primal Kitchen Classic Barbecue Sauce. I don't eat this one every day, but it is my favorite of the bunch. Uh, truly delicious. But that's it for my ground beef recipes. Again, if you've ever wanted to do a carnivore or sort of carnivore-ish diet, but you know, it seemed too expensive buying steaks all the time, uh, try the ground beef way, the way I do it. Um, and if you want to pick up any of the sauces that I used, uh, these are my ground beef all-stars, the buffalo, the teriyaki, the barbecue, and the ketchup, uh, also the Hawaiian barbecue. You can get them all at primalkitchen.com. If you use the code HELLO20, you can get 20% off your entire order. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.